Okay, for this next section right down here, I am going to do the graded wash. And this basically means that you're trying to create a gradient with your color, meaning having it go from really saturated color to more translucent, more um, lighter in value. So if I was using blue, it would be as dark of the blue as I could possibly get to very light blue where more of the paper is showing through. Um, kind of like the idea of, do you remember when people were getting their hair ombre? Maybe that's still a thing, but where it's one color and it slowly fades into another color or in our case is going to slowly fade into the white of the paper. So for this, I am using one of my green paints you can see, and I want to start with a very saturated paint. So that means that there is a lot of pigment in the actual water, um, so that when it comes out, it's gonna be a darker green. So I'm using my large flat brush again, and dipping my brush in the water, making sure my paint is saturated, at least I think it is. Filling my brush and then starting here. We'll have it be darkest down here and then fade to light. So I start with just one streak across and now I wash out my brush and just with water I'm going to paint next to it. Rinse out my brush. Paint next to it again. You might have to encourage some of the paint to start filtering down. Clean out my brush. Keep going. Go little paint, go. So the idea is that it's starting very saturated to slowly moving to the white of the paper. You can do this in layers as well. So after this layer dried, I could start the same process over again with the really saturated green here to make that even darker, to each section darker, um, to give it more of an impact. I'm gonna see if I can make it a little bit more even than it is right now. There's, I've seen artists do this in different ways. You can also start with the entire section wet with just clean water. Like I would just use my brush, there's no paint on it, and I would wet it down that way. And then I would start by adding pigment at the end and letting it slowly fade up. I feel like I have a little bit more control over it this way, but there's not just one right way to do almost anything here. So that's your basic idea for the graded wash.